So we're at um, Sunrise Beach. What we've got here is we've got a renovation. It's two stages really of renovation. We're going to walk you through what kind of with a description of what there was and then what we've got now that we're going forward. So with the kitchen being the heart of the home, I really wanted to get it right in this design. Yeah, so initially my instinct was to have the kitchen kind of against this wall, but then when you kind of, you blew out creative minds, I guess, and we're like, oh, okay. I decided to move the kitchen from over on the other wall to this wall. It meant that I could stand here and take in the view. I could get all that greenery. It also gave me space to transition inside and outside from the pool and through the living area. So some pieces that make this kitchen highly functional are obviously the breakfast bar and then opening up to the outdoors outside here where we've got the gas strut window and the big sliding door that slides right back. We put the bulkhead around the top of it so that it gave it some intimacy. And then these lights also define the kitchen space. We used a beautiful laminum bench top which is a full porcelain tile. It looks fantastic, it's as hardy as hardy, and looks like a beautiful piece of marble. So if we come to here, you need more imagination now because we're yet to put anything in here. Yannicka's in the bathroom right now. I'm pretty close to the toilet, and the laundry is in front of me. One of the things in the original part of this renovation was how do we take the kitchen and the bathroom and use that space better? We wanted a bath for young children, as well as we wanted to have the shower with the outside door, which makes it really cool. We wanted to connect with the outside here, but still have privacy. So we used frosted louvers, so nobody can see into us, but we can choose when we want to see out. This gives us masses of airflow in a room like this, which helps keep it breezed and dry. It means that we really reduce mold in areas like this. I want to tell you about what we did in the main bedroom. We already had some closets here, so we refurbished these and made them a little bigger. Over on this side here, we had an ensuite which we retained to the size it is, but updated it. And then we had to take advantage of the fact that we could come and fill in under what was our eaves. We needed the room to grow a little bit, just to ease. Yeah, well, so your bedroom's now going to flow straight onto the deck. That's We've like previously a whole extra metre. I know it is, it's a whole yeah. metre that you gained. When you do that, if you add a metre, a metre point five to it, you're making like, it's 25% of the room bigger, which is massive in the case of this. The difference between a queen size bed or a king size bed in this room would be yeah. huge, yeah. and it now easily holds a king. Yeah, because it did feel very pokey, and that was one of the, the whole things when we first looked at the place. Over here, I managed to slip in a little makeup boudoir. So when Janneke wants to sit and do her makeup and take that time out, put her earrings on, this is her secret spot. And we got all that just by moving the wall out to the eave line. We're in the, what is the living room of this home? Now, if you look around, it's a bit like a ski lodge. It's very woody and it's got all these beautiful open beams. What Rory and I loved about this house was the high ceilings and the kind of, you know, this, the 70s, the beams. Yeah. Um, one of the things we didn't want to lose with the renovation was that kind of, that feeling. So sure. how are we going to kind of, resolve that between the new, you know, this new the renovation. New and the old. Yeah. yeah, for sure. One of the key things that we did here was we wanted to extend this living area out to the eastern side. So we built over the top of the garage and created this rafted roof and took it all the way out so that we had all this extra space and ambience. Now this area has turned into the zone where the family spend most of their time. In the living room, we had all kinds of challenges. We had a laundry that used to be sort of stuck in the corner here. This sort of patch on the floor, if you can pick that up at all, hang, is a, this was a laundry. So this actually came all the way out and blocked this room up. I took that laundry out, put in this big sliding door, which takes us out onto a small private balcony. How cool is this? On the outside of this living room, I put the entrance and the staircase that brought us up to it. Rather than actually taking up a stairwell space, which would have meant that we had to chop up a room downstairs and a room up here, 
and we would have had to put structural support in to do that. We can come up on the outside because we've got enough room between us and the boundary. Yeah. And we can gain that all as windows on that side. We're going to end up with this being more view and our room's going to get a metre, 1100 bigger because of the width of our staircase as well. So I positioned that window out further, put in the balustrade and glass and opened the whole room over the space. In doing that, it increased the airflow as well as it increased the light in the room and the size. Come with me, I wanna show you what's going on in the granny flat that we put in downstairs. Something really special that we were able to do in this renovation was add a granny flat into the downstairs of the home. In doing that, we were only allowed 45 square metres, as that's Noosa Shire Council's regulations. A kitchen, a laundry, as well as bathroom, separate powder room, bedroom, living room, was all compacted into this 45 square metres to make something really special. One of the tricks I used to create more space inside was I took a little one metre by one metre block out of this area. That meant that I could move the doors out in the living room and get the space where I really needed it. This piece here outside here, that's not counted into my 45 square metres. We added a large deck outside and in doing that we added planters onto the deck so it brought that foliage in closer to the home and made it feel like we were connected with the outdoors better. When working in tight spaces, a trick is, is how we shape the space and how we make it transition. In this case, one of the things I did was I added a barn slider. Now the reason for the barn slider was so that I could have an oversized door here. That oversized door meant that this room, which is the bedroom, transitions into the living room with a larger opening and it flows the spaces together nicer. A lovely little idea is to add a window to the shower. If you're doing this again and shaping the space, it extends one room into the other. This window will fog up when the bathroom's in use, so privacy doesn't really become an issue. But during the day and any other time, you get this transition of light between the two areas. It's beautiful that it's in a round. That just adds something to the overall emotions that the room holds. There's a lot of these design hacks that I use when I'm putting a space together so that you get a bigger emotional feel than the actual floor space that you've got. So Janneke, it has been an absolute blast designing this home and come for a walkthrough now that you've finished. It's just beautiful. I love what you've done with all your furniture and your interiors in here. It's stunning oh, and thanks, really, thanks. really a pleasure to have been a part of this process. Oh, it's been such a, a great pleasure working with you and we're so absolutely thrilled with the outcome. It's just awesome. We love it so much. I love that. And we're never leaving. <laughs> Rory, we I'm never it. leaving. <laughs> so I'm Adrian Ramsey from Adrian Ramsey Design House and that's over and out from me and from Yannicka. <laughs>